King Surya Verme II was the ruler of Khmer Empire from 1113 until his death 1150. He is famously known as the builder of Angkor Wat, the largest religious temple on earth. The king's reign saw great innovations in art and architecture. Besides Angkor Wat, he built other temples under his reign, include Bunti Samrai, Chao Sai Tevada, Wat Achuya, Bang Milia, Prayavihir, and one more temple. Which one? Where is this temple? Why was it built? Let Khmer temples and nature walk you through this mysterious monument right now. Komanon is a beautiful Hindu temple constructed by King Surya Verma II in the late 11th and the early 12th centuries at Angkor, Kingdom of Cambodia. This small and elegant monument is located to the east of the Victory Gate of Angkor Thom, north of Chao Sai Tevada, and is about 200 meters away from the ancient bridge called Spintmo. The temple is dedicated to Shiva and Vishnu. It is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site, inscribed by UNESCO in 1992, titled Angkor. The temple's name is derived from the Bali words Tome means Buddhist teachings and Nanda means supreme wisdom, reflecting its spiritual significance. Scholars studying the carvings of the Devadas in Tamanon have concluded that it was built around the time when work on Angkor Wat was begun. However, there is some disagreement as to the precise date it was built. Some believe that the distinctive carvings of females known as Devadas indicate that they were built during the reign of Jayavarma VI sometime at the end of the 11th century. However, there is greater agreement, especially given the scholarly studies, that it was built by Surya Verme II around the time of Angkor Wat and Bang Milia from 1113 to 1150 AD. Tamanon is directly opposite the Chao Sai Tevada and just 500 meters east of the Victory Gate on the way to Takao Temple. In the 1960s, the temple underwent a full restoration funded by the Eco Francais d'Extremorient OFOO. French archaeologists restored it and added concrete ceilings. Tamanon is a single tower temple with an east-facing central sanctuary crowned by a prasad or tower. Access from the east is via a gubra followed by a mandapa and antique chamber before arriving at the central sanctuary. The movement is rectangular in plan with a sanctuary open to the east, a moat, and a closure with two cuburas, one on the east and another on the west, and what library near the southeast of the wall. Only traces of a laterite base of the wall remain. The temple's carvings are very well preserved and the aged sandstone provides a distinct contrast to the surrounding jungle.
the architectural style of its tower is akin to the Angkor Wat Temple and the Chao Sai Tevada in its vicinity. This is linked at the base to the Long Hall. The entrance has three passages and bays that have been walled in. The center has five porches, the one to the west being a double porch. Cylindrical vaulting can be seen on one recessed low wall. The pediment on the north depicts Vishnu failing two of his enemies, one of whom he holds by the hair. The base of the tower is finely modeled and decorated. The foliage of the middle band has raised figures. There are four porches, one on each side of the central tower. The decoration on the three fourth doors of these porches is exceptionally delicate. Also notice the highly stylized yet quasi female divinities. The East Little depicts Vishnu on a Garuda. The library has a full attic with elongated windows with balusters that have been walled in. The scenery is paved with literite. It opens to the west with a small porch and two windows. There is a full door on the east side. The Sentry Tower has a central passage and two wings with windows. The building shows absolute purity of lines in its architecture and great care has been taken with the decoration. The West Padaman depicts Vishnu on a Garud battling against the demons. The columns and the base are ornamented with human figures. The four tiles on the end of the walls represent lions. In summary, Tomanon Temple stands as a quiet witness to Cambodia's ancient past, a harmonious blend of art spirituality and architectural ingenuity, its delicate carvings and timeless beauty invite visitors to explore the mysteries of Angkor's golden age.